here in the nursing program, we use um, SIMAN. We have PDAs. We have different things that we have to do on the computers with like different scenarios in nursing settings and hospital settings and things I'm like that. We use which um, CAIs, which are little programs that have different scenarios that you walk through uh, with patients and you go through what assessments you do. Um, what tests you can give to them, what kind of drugs you can do. There's also VCEs, which is a disc that we can take home with us and it comes with a book. And you go through another scenario, but it's more hospital setting. And you go through with all the patients and you see what kind of diseases they have and what kind of medications they have. And you do assessments and you watch videos to figure out what assessment would be better. And it tells you if you get the assessment's right, or if you diagnose the problem right. Uh, we uh. use a, um, personal, like a little computer, which is called a um, PDA, and um, that's, we, we look up our labs for classes, um, any pathophysiologies related to any patient diseases. Um, we look up uh, different words if we don't know medical terms, we can look that kind of thing up. We made the PDA mandatory. Okay. And that includes a lab book, uh, a drug book, the nursing diagnosis, um, Tabers, which is kind of like a medical dictionary, and then another, kind of like a generic pathophys book, but it doesn't go into a lot of detail. So those books are actually all in the PDA, so we didn't have to require them to buy the books, they just upgrades. bought the software. We do actually do a couple upgrades, I think at least, while they're in the program. But I think beyond that, I think we, we kind of looked at how much we thought would be enough to get them through. And then, of course, then they have the PDA after they graduate, and they can just contact the company if they would want, you know, further upgrades. When I work, you carry a phone because, you know, the secretary needs to get a hold of you. Other patients need to get a hold of you. you got a doctor on page. But we do the um, documentation on the computer, which actually the students do here as well. We teach them how to do um, ClinDoc is what it's called. And we've gone to a wireless kind of like a grocery food scanner where we scan the patient's armband and then they scan the meds and so that way it's kind of reducing the chance of error and we actually teach the students how to do that and that's one thing we want to incorporate into SimMan is to have an armband on him and then they actually have to scan the band and then it brings up the med screen and then they can decide you know is this medication due and it'll come up and tell them you know wrong dosage wrong time something like that if they get it wrong so they'll know. Okay. So it's small easy to use and it's a big bonus. The PDA, um, we use it a lot with, like in clinical setting, it's very, very helpful in looking up drugs, looking up any labs, so that you're not always flipping through a book or anything, and we've used it in class to take quizzes. And I just think it's a better, just a better way for us to take quizzes and get more information rather than always using big books. Of course, you know, nursing students got a million and five books to carry around anyway. Oh, so one so. thing I like about the PDA is once you look up one disease, you can link to nursing diagnoses that would fit that patient. So they can just link right over to the nursing diagnosis book and then they can link over to the drug book so they can kind of have everything right there where they can look at all of it. It kind of, you know, all goes together that way. Uh, so one thing they want to do at the hospital is have some little mini, like a phone scanner and PDA kind of all in one that they want all the nurses to start, start carrying. I think one of the biggest things that has helped a lot is SimMan because when we use SimMan, it's like an actual scenario that you could possibly run into and I know that a couple of times especially with like diabetes the semen that we did for that I found that it really came in handy in the clinical setting because I we have a lot of patients with diabetes. We start when we first come into the program we learn how to do vital signs with this dummy we listen to his heart rate we can uh, listen to different heart sounds and kind of get an idea before we go into a clinical setting what a normal and an abnormal heart rate is and different areas on the body that we're going to be listening for these, um, you know, blood pressures or sounds. I do, and I liked what the one student said about how she realized about a diabetic patient, all the different complications they can have, because I don't know how many patients we have, you know, today that have diabetes or have some complication from diabetes. So it just brings up 
Um, one we just did not too long ago was a GI bleed. And so we had the patient vomiting blood, which was Simman, and then they had to put the tube down his nose and hook it up to suction, and then they had to go get blood, and so they had to check off the blood and realize how to hang blood and go through all those things. So that was actually a good scenario. But then since then, then if we've seen GI, GI patients, and I've actually had the people who've had to hang blood, and they're like, oh yeah, I remember, we have to get them to sign that consent. And I'm like, yes, that's important. <laughs> you know, so they're going through and they just, they think of things, they come back to things that we did with Simman, and I think it does help, actually. It's just at least they've, they've all had that experience somewhere. Because that's one thing today with different kinds of patients, you might never see a patient with this certain thing. You run into that more with peds. Um, you know, a lot of kids don't have one certain diagnosis, but if I want to make, you know, like we have a sim baby or a sim child, if I want to make him have that diagnosis, because I know, well, at least I know everybody's seen it now. Right. And it kind of gives everybody that same, you know, I know we've covered that somewhere. So then if we test over it, because we actually tested over a lot of the stuff we did with the GI bleed, then I can say, okay, now we covered that, you guys, so you should be ready for the, this area of the exam because I know everyone's covered that content. Um, we just got our, this new lab done. This semester we actually just opened. So what we're going to have here actually when we get finished is an actual nurse's station. We're going to have computers by each bed where they can actually assess, do the documentation, you know, and then pass the meds. So that's kind of what we're working toward because we have the eight beds and the nurse's station in the middle. And so then we'll have a sim man or something similar to that in each Person, bed. And it helps with just thinking through the processes and applying your knowledge to the situation.